Laura, thank you so much for meeting with me today. First of all, I love the look and feel of your apps. Like you're known here at QuickBase as the Marie Kondo of app building and management. <laughs> and I would love to ask you some questions and share all these awesome tips and tricks for our new QuickBase builders. What's the very first thing someone who wants to design with aesthetics in mind should do? They should, re- well, first go through all of the university um, <laughs> right. To yes, go through the great. university and, and get certified is step one, if they haven't done that already, but to really take a look at your process, map out your process. So you know where you're heading with it. Cause you mm-hmm. want a clear line. You also want to get all your data points together. So you have that and then start like categorizing what data that you want to show in different places. Now, when I create my forms, I'm adding fields in, but I'm also consciously putting them into sections. So one other trick that I do is to make it easier to find fields is my naming convention on a lot of my fields. If it is, let's say a company name, right? That is something that could go through um, a couple of different versions of a singular form that I have. Well, I'll leave that as company name, but let's say there is order entry is one option of a form. I will actually in the front of that um, field name put like order entry or some other um, acronym that I come up with it. And then every field that is in regards to that type gets that acronym put onto it. So you're doing a field identifier because then when you have to look through like form rules or reports or whatnot, you know exactly what field that was for. It also helps if let's say you had an order number, but you didn't want to use an order number for every single field you, mm-hmm. because you needed it in a different spot. You can then create multiple order number fields with that identifier in front of it. And then what I would do is use basically a formula field to concatenate all those together. So depending on what it is. So for reporting wise, you can have one field that shows order number. Don't be scared or like, feel like you are boxed in of, well, this is where this field is going to live. You can always change it up, add more in, and then use a formula field in order to bring that data all back together for like reporting wise, everything like that. Don't be afraid of change. That's a big Don't be idea. afraid of change. And don't be afraid <laughs> of formulas. Formulas, when you first get started on building in QuickBase, someone says formulas and they instantly like, <gasps> don't be scared yeah. of formulas. So I just want to thank you, Laura, for your time to share all these amazing tips. I hope everyone who's watching this can get something out of it and start using it right away. You are so welcome. My last parting words that I will leave with a new builder is enjoy it. Have fun with it. Play with it. You know, especially like use your builder program to test some stuff out. Constantly test and just play. And you will find that it is so much fun to actually build within QuickBase that it no longer becomes like, oh, this is such a awful job. And you're like, oh, what else can I build? So <laughs> exactly. that's all I say is go in and play and just have fun and um, bring some color to your life.